you like superhuman? What the heck? <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'm having a good time. Well, you're dang sure the most gracious cowboy I've ever met. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm just always fascinated. I've watched you in this press room and just, wow. It seems more challenging than riding a bull. So many people want a moment of your time. Yeah, I mean, talking has never been uh, my strong suit. That's usually my brother Rusty, and mm -hmm. he, he's good at it. I'm, I'm not that good at it. He's good at riding and talking. I, he's got an upper hand on all of us. Well, so I have a question for you. What is it about bull riding that you think could help a barrel racer? Make her appreciate that horns don't ever hit her. <laughs> well, that's one thing, <laughs> right? I'd have to think about that. That's a hard question. Uh, one thing that could help a barrel racer is... Is there anything in common, do you think? I heard you say something about this bull. So what's his name? Pook Pookie, Pookie Holler. Holler. Yeah, Pookie so Holler. So what's funky about him? I heard you say something a minute ago. The He's built really... I, a lot of cowboys would use the word ill-built. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. He's perfectly fine. He's healthy. But he's just built different than most bulls. And he's rolly in the shoulders and slings his head, whips his back end around, which really causes guys to get whipped around on him. And he, he don't get rode much, so he's hard to ride. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I guess I, I don't know a whole lot about barrel racing, but if I had to compare little moves and be confident... It's so good. So I heard you say something about you You told yourself to stay small on Pookie Holler. What does that mean? Yeah, um, well, normally I'm a, I'm a really aggressive bull rider, and it, I tend to get a little wild when I ride. My arm, my, my arm will get f flipping around. I might get leaned back sometimes. So I tried to stay more to the front and not let my free arm get past about right here. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how good of a job I did. I'll have to watch your video, but I stayed on, so I think I did okay. <laughs> So I think you just hit the bullseye because yeah. that that's it. So we're we're doing something online called Top 15 Challenge. And our headline, like our goal, is to rodeo anxiety-free in 23. And sometimes that just boils down to mechanics. Yeah, and I mean, anxiety-free, that's, that's to me what I would say is very common is the mindset. Um, you can be physically beat to hell, but if you're mentally sharp, there's usually nobody that can stop you. And I feel like that's one advantage I have over a lot of people is I'm pretty mentally confident because uh, I know I'm not the strongest, I'm not the best built guy there is. But when I look at myself in the mirror, I, I tell myself I am and I am going to win. So how many times a day do you say that? Is it that simple? <laughs> you guys would be surprised and think I was weird. Really? I, I, if I walk past a mirror, I just look and that's the first thing I think I think is you're the best really and any positive thing i i don't I, i'll never knock myself down the world will do that for me so I, i'm just i'm here to build myself up and here to build everybody up with me man you're holding the sport on your shoulders i feel like you know <laughs> thank you for being transparent about that because we want to know like so many people i mean a lot of people don't have aspirations to get to the finals right but they do want to get out of the 5d yeah i've, I've for sure, I'm, and I mean, when I talk about being confident and talking highly to yourself, like, you don't have to walk up to somebody and say, I'm the best. Like, you can keep it to yourself because the only person you have to convince that you're the best is you, and that's when it works. Hmm. Can I just hand you this mic to drop it? <laughs> oh, God. It's like figurative. Last question. Why the color blue? Um, Express Ranch is, they're, they're like family to us. They're the greatest sponsors we've ever had. They're... They take care of us, and we we appreciate them. So we will do. If they say jump off a cliff, <laughs> we're going. You're gonna try it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being part of Top 15 Challenge. I'm here with Stetson Wright, and we're challenging you to rodeo anxiety free in 2023.